grandchildren, please come up. Although Mudandi went earlier. Good afternoon. On behalf of my grandmother, Shusho, and the rest of the family, I want to thank you all for being here. I want to thank you for mourning with us um, and the, on the passing of my grandfather. I am not really a public speaker. I think I got that from him. Just joking. We all know Honorable Maino Njigi loved to speak, and he loved to speak in public. He would always encourage me to do so, but I took it and I transformed it a bit. And I married a talker. I married Susan Wanjiko Awori, who is on radio. But for me, the one thing I know I will hold on to for the rest of my life is what Guka taught me. And that is how to be a good person. For that, I am and always will be grateful. This is James Wekesa Awari. This is his sister, Maria Awari, married Kevin Roro. I am his wife, Susan Jeroge Awari. And Guka, I just want to say thank you for giving me the best husband in the world. I have only been married for one year, but I am ready to go head to head with any woman here and prove to you that I have the best husband in the whole world. So in not so many words, rest well, Guka, and thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Maina and uh, Wamboy. Good afternoon. When I was thinking about what to say, there was one sentence that kept ringing in my head. And that was, we're soldiering on. See, now growing up, um, we used to stay over at Guka and Shosho's house. And that was one of the best memories, uh, going to the farm when you were very young. Um, and it was a break from home when, when my parents were a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> The meat, the bonding, even with my fellow cousins. Um, our grandparents would give us very good knowledge into what life would throw at us. And that sentence, we're soldiering on, was always there. Now, when I was, I, I was away during high school and university, so when I would come back, um, we'd meet as a family, and every gathering, it would always end with Luca looking at me and saying, we'll, we'll talk. And I knew that meant we'd go talk in the office. Initially, I was scared, to be honest, but at some point, it turned into advice, uh, leadership, and all those things you need to le learn as a man. I would always ask him, Guka, how are you? He always says, we're soldiering on. And the meeting would always end with, we're soldiering on. Even when things got bad for him, even when we're in a hospital together, I would always ask, Luka, how are you? He said, we're soldiering on. Thank you, Guka, for instilling strength in me and our family. And from wherever you are, just know we as a family are soldiering on. Thank you. Hello everyone. God is good and all the time. 
I know words won't be able to do justice to the magnificent portraits of the life you, Kuka, had. Kuka, you are a man of integrity, a man of great strength, and a man of character. The wisdom and insight you implemented into our minds will live on for generations to come, and it is what shaped me into the person I am today. Your trove of knowledge, skills, and achievements never failed to amaze me. Gukar, you are truly one of a kind. My earliest memory of Gukar was, was when us grandchildren used to come over for sleepovers in Karen. Gukar used to come home at night from work and, and find us having pillow fights in the living room. Without hesitation, he actively participated in those fights. Gukar was also a man with great clairvoyance and was a great analyst. He would always think before speaking, and whatever he said, sure enough happened. I remember when we all watched the World Cup finals in 2022. If any of you remember that match, especially for the French supporters out there, you know how heart racing, racing that match was. France and Argentina drew 3-3, then went into penalties. Gukar told me that day, France is not going to win. I looked at him and thought he was crazy and didn't know anything about football. Being a French supporter, I refused to believe what he said, but funny enough, France lost on penalties. Gukar was also somebody who was very proud of his grandchildren and loved to show us off. He told me one day he was getting many calls about my speech at the manifesto launch of my father and that when negotiations start for my own wedding, that he'll give me away with dollars instead of Kenya shillings. Gukau was also a man who loved speaking and always wanted to inspire the minds of the younger generation. Every time I sat down with him, he always advised, inspired, and eloquated me, educated me. Gukau was also deeply devoted to his faith. He loved reading us Bible stories in bed, especially about Moses and quizzing us about them after. Gukau was also somebody who loved his chocolate cake and wine, and he cunningly got me to indulge in those dark chocolates and wine and not tell my parents as it was our little secret. This was all before I was legal. As we celebrate this great man today and continue his legacy, I want to leave you with the heartfelt words of the brilliant Albert Einstein. Our death is not an end if we can live on in our children. For they are us, our bodies are only wilted leaves on the tree of life. Kuka, I will miss you so much and I promise to make you proud by making your name live on. Thank you. Big clap for both of them, thank you. Now we have the last set of grandchildren.